America is on a mission back to the moon. And uh, we are go for launch. To understand why we're going back for the first time since 1972, we need to remember why we went there in the first place. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. During the Cold War, America was in a fierce space race with the communist Soviet Union. But in July 1969... That's one small step for man. The U.S. declared victory. The Apollo program was really an anomaly. We wanted to go there not for scientific reasons, not because we were sort of technically it was the next step, but because for political reasons. The Russians were coming, the Russians were coming. Uh, and so we, we had to get there first. Now, more than five decades later, NASA says its current Artemis program is about exploration, not politics. We're going back to the moon. And this is why. The Artemis program, which begins with an uncrewed rocket launch, will eventually set the stage for what NASA hopes is a long-term presence on the moon. The agency says the mission is threefold, scientific discovery, economic opportunities, and inspiration for a new generation. But the agency stresses the moon is really a solar system stepping stone. Our sights are not set on the moon. Our sights are set clearly on Mars. NASA is bullish on the Red Planet and says the Artemis program can help launch a growing space economy, one that will launch new industries and create new jobs. And that potential economic benefit is key because each Artemis mission will cost more than $4 billion. By 2025, the whole program is expected to cost $93 billion. Some NASA critics argue the agency is already being outpaced by private space companies building rockets that are better and cheaper. Quite frankly, right now, as we're seeing the last gasp of sort of the Apollo approach to building giant rockets. And meanwhile, you know, a thousand miles to the west, Elon Musk can build his Starship so cheaply that he blows them up and he puts a blooper reel out. But NASA believes the cost will help it achieve a third goal, inspiring a generation too young to have witnessed the Apollo era. I think all of us in the astronaut office are in one way or another influenced by those iconic images of our Apollo astronauts exploring the moon. And this time, the missions will be more diverse. NASA says the Artemis III mission will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. NASA wants it to happen in 2025. We want every kid in America to look at our poster and say, oh, I see myself in that. And right now, the public is behind it. According to an Economist YouGov poll from 2021, a majority of Americans favor the U.S. sending astronauts back to the moon. And a Gallup poll from 2019 showed a record number of Americans say the benefits of the space program program justify the cost. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Helping solidify support for a return to the moon and beyond. Clayton Sandell, Newsy.